Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. And today we have a special guest with us. We have my dad. And we just picked him up from the airport. This is his first time witnessing the FSD full sub driving on the highway. So we're looking, <laughs> we're looking forward to see his reactions and his impressions, any commentary, etc. I have it on average mode right now and I just engaged it. So let's see how it performs. We can see if it's going to overtake or not. Okay, so she is, indicates, okay. looks for a gap, gets into it. So you put the indicator on and it knows you want to go in the fast lane and it... No, she just did that for us. By herself? Yes. <laughs> oh. <Shock. Yeah. laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, it does the indicator by itself too. So what it does is it, it highlights the lane that it wants to go in in blue. Mm -hmm. And right. then once it does that, it pings, it ping, it, it pings, so it makes a noise. Mm -hmm. And I have that set up. So that way we know it's gonna make a lane change. Then it starts indicating and gets itself into the gap. Okay, okay. Yeah. So can you set it in such a way that okay if you're driving slowly and you know at a uh, leisurely pace you stay in the middle lane but if you want to you know does the car decide for you or <laughs> it like, does at the moment yeah right now it i mean you can set minimal lane changes okay so that way it just stays it tries to stay in the lane that it's currently in but uh, most of the time it, it still goes back and forth so right now we see here that it, you know, it's finding the gap, it's going into the lane, making the lane changes, overtaking that car behind us before. And now we have a, a little bit of a curvature road here, so I'm just slowing it down a little bit because, yeah, we can't go too fast around that. But then also the car adapts to that too as well. Right. It realizes that there's a curve in the road, it starts slowing down. Right. You can see it slowing down there with the green regenerative braking, and then it's making the turn for us. Picking up speed now on the mm -hmm. curve, and we have to do we have to merge here. It looks like we have to merge onto the highway. So, yeah, we're just no. going on the express. It decides to go on the express. Yes. Versus the collectors. It uses the map data, traffic mm -hmm. uh, traffic information. Okay, to, to, to find design. the fastest route, kind of thing. Exactly. Okay. So it's more like the the uh, navigation system, but they work ooh, together. Oh, was my goal there. Didn't see the oh portal, did it? No possible detection as yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have this person wanting to indicate here. Now, okay, now the road is under repair and the lane markers are a bit... Worn off. Worn off. So yeah. is it, oh, it's still sensing it, okay. It's that's one good thing. Uh, that's a good point that you made there because even though it is... Oh, she wants to make that lane oh, change. Oh, but watch it for you. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Got really nature. close to that guy. Inside. Yeah, but she pressed the brakes. She uh, did. Yeah, it okay. did all that. I just gave it. I actually gave it some some uh, some juice, some okay. some juice to go, because there was a car on our left coming up to us. Right. Uh, and just made the lane change too as well. So then she was going to backtrack. She wants to make that lane change. We can do that. So that's some that's really good. tight lane changes here though. Yeah. Looks like she wants to get into the left lane. She has a gap now. She has to go now. Accelerate quickly. She has to go up. I gotta speed okay. up a lot. Okay. So that uh, was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm a old guy. This is not. This is a defibrillator in here. So are, you feeling, are you feeling stressed out? Are you feeling. Well, you know, I'm accustomed to be the one making the decisions. And when I right. see something that, you know, okay, I'm, what's going on here? And I'm like, okay. Right. Uh, you want to I don't have to trust her just yet. Right. <laughs> but, okay. Okay. You know, especially with lane changes. If it's like, okay, so, um, you know, I have the um, radar control one on the, on the Highlander, right? Yes. And that's cool for me because I set, it, I set the speed and it accelerates, it decelerates if it sees a car in front and everything. It does a, well, it doesn't do lane changes, but it stays in the lane and it follows the lane, which is cool. And then when I decide, okay, hey, I want to take over, I take over, right? I mean, right. you can do the same thing here. But it's hard as a seasoned driver to give up control, uh, you know? Yes. Because my immediate reaction is to, is to grab the steering if I see the car changing and I, I, I you know. 
Right, so it, right. It, it, it takes some getting used to, obviously, right. as an old driver. To trust the system, to, to, to give up that control, yeah. knowing that you can do it probably better than the system can right now. Definitely. Okay, so, you, so you're thinking that right now it's still, it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel... Um, no, no. It's, it's a culture shock for me. Okay. So it's me having to adjust to the... To the I'm not saying it's unsafe, but if the car decides to turn, I'm going to automatically look behind me and make sure it's doing the right thing. Right. And, and maybe it is. Of course it is. But right. I'm just going to, you know, it's like, you know, being a, the backseat driver in the driver's seat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good point too as well, because even though, you know, I'm, I'm accustomed to the system, I kind of know what it, it, it is doing. I still double check. I mean, you still have to. You still have to yep. double check and yeah, see, okay, yeah. is it actually making that left turn? Oh, that's really no noisy. If it's actually yeah. getting the gap, making that left turn when it's safe to do so. But backtracking to that left lane change that we made that the car backtracked on, that I really don't like because it doesn't it doesn't feel natural. Yeah. It's supposed to get into the lane. It's supposed to commit and get into the lane when it knows it's safe to do so. Yeah. It doesn't help with the visibility. And another thing for me, again, as a seasoned driver is that I look not just at the car in front of me, I look at the car in front of the car in front of me. Exactly. Yeah. And so, for example, like just now with the lane change, if I if I notice that the car in front of the car of me stops suddenly, I, I would want to react quickly mm -hmm. in case the guy directly in front of me, you know, jams on the brake and I have to. So, especially in a lane change, if, if you're if you're assuming the traffic in front of you is moving at a certain speed based on all the algorithms, but the guy suddenly mashes the brake, then, you know, I, I, how, how does it deal with that? Does it, does it, does it? Well, does that's, it? Uh, those are, you know, with the new, the new hardware going out, they're, they're bringing back the high definition reader that hopefully addresses cars in front of cars and having it react to that in advance, like a human would. Right. Um, for now, it's strictly relying on just cameras, vision, mm -hmm. the vision mm -hmm. system to, to make those adjustments. I mean, it has really good recognition for, for cars. I mean, it has been trained millions of miles. So it can see a car, um, you know, over there, mm -hmm. over there and stuff like that. But in terms of a car in front of a car, it might have some challenges with that. Um, and perhaps that's probably the reason for like sudden braking or, yeah. um, last minute reaction times and so on. Exactly. That last minute reaction time. No. It has the um, 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 dead stop feature. If, if if something stops suddenly, it, it'll stop, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. But like you know, you have these videos where you see like a tire flies off from a car coming across the road, and you're seeing it. And will it detect something like that? I mean, God forbid. I mean. Yeah, that's an like that's kind of like an anomaly, right? Pretty much. Yeah, that's an anomaly, and and it it it, it would have to be trained on unless like a lot of data that yeah. in which that occurred and honestly I, I don't think it because of the lack of training on in that kind of scenario it probably would not uh, detect it mm -hmm. so then the human will have to pull the steering wheel take over and right. avoid and even like a lot of times like even on the 401 that's like a common occurrence that people can't really avoid most of the time like they don't make it right yeah, so it's up to you to react in time and, and, and dodge the bullet, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> it does have object detection. Um, right. Like, for example, if it's a tire or cone in the middle of the road. Right, I was coming to that. So if there's something debris, like, you know, uh, you know, someone's mud flap or something, not mud flap, um, you know, uh, something in the road that is a, that is a hazard, yes. will it detect it? Okay, it didn't it, detect the pothole. It does not detect the, uh, the pothole, but if it's something that's protruding, you know, like a how high? You know, like a I mean, probably higher than a than a hump. So that okay. tire, tire yeah. is a little bit higher than a hump. So yeah, it, pick it, it up. It uses the, something called the occupancy network, which mm -hmm. which is um, well, how do you explain that? So it, it's pretty much it picks up. It tries to map uh, objects in in three dimensional mm -hmm, space. Mm -hmm. So if it's an, if it's yeah, if it's so anything really anything. Yeah. So if it's like this cone, one of these you things can see, it, you see it here, like it put, it, it shows like a gray matter. Right. That's the occupancy network trying to generate, like something is there, like an object is there. Mm -hmm. So what it does is that it will go around it, it will avoid it. Okay. 
Can I can I give an example? Yeah. So like let's say for example the the car has like a hundred different graphics to represent things on the road. Right. But let's say you have like a big pile of sand. Like maybe it doesn't have a graphic for that, so it'll just mm -hmm. show like a little piece of gray like gunk yes, on exactly. the road. Very good example, yeah. Well, so things it kind of classify, yeah. it uses the occupancy network to assign it like a, a gray matter, like some, it's, it's... And as a warning. And as a warning to avoid so, it. Okay, yeah. okay. And showing that there's something there, yeah. pretty much. Right. But I did have a question for you, though. Um, what exactly can either the car, like as it's driving, or the company do to give you more confidence to feel like, okay, I can let the car drive when it's home? Or like I can let it take more control in like tricky situations. Uh, for me? Yeah, for you. Hmm. You, you mentioned earlier that that you you like as a seasoned driver, it's hard to give up that control and that you don't really feel like super confident in its ability. Not like that you that you actually feel that, but mm. just inherently like in a tricky situation, like how we like merge yeah. into the lanes really quickly. It's just a question of um, getting familiar with it, um, okay. second guessing it a few times just to make sure it's making the right moves. Um, before I, I'll say I will, you know, willingly just hand over control again. I mean, I'm sure it works fine. I'm sure so far it looks okay. But again, you know, it's. You know, to give the reins up completely is something that is, it's a generational thing, I suppose. You know, people in you know, my generation know what a, yeah, you know, it's scary. To, yeah. I agree. It's like a lot of people um, didn't feel comfortable or don't feel comfortable driving an automatic car. They prefer to be in a, to try a standard or stick shift right. because they like, you know, they like being in control of the gears and gearing down and, and stuff like that. They feel, yes. they feel more of a driver, you know? Uh, so, so you think it's something to do with like either the company or the cars like change management, like maybe not doing enough to make you feel comfortable at the moment or it just you think like it's more experience? It's just experience. Okay. Yeah, it's experience. Okay, that's interesting. You know, okay. it's, it, it's a... It's a paradigm shift. I mean, yes. we have had cars for a hundred years, and of, of those hundred years, drivers were in control. And um, you know, it's 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 just, you know, it's like it's like in the days when the first computers came out. You know, guys still accustomed to writing up ledgers and doing things manually. Still did it just to make sure the computer was doing it the right way. And um, it will just take time. But of course. Once all the kinks and any issues are ironed out and um, so far. Now you see like in this situation, I'm seeing the traffic light, I'm seeing the traffic lights, sorry. The, 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 red, the, 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 the car stop lights coming on. Yes. So I am automatically going to say, okay, I'm going to slow down and I'm going to be have my foot close to the brake because I'm afraid that somebody will stop suddenly and I want to be, but it's doing that, right? Yes. You're not, you're not it's, touching anything. It's, it's doing keeping that. its distance. Mm -hmm. So that way, it, it's keeping a, a reasonable follow distance so that way it can react to if a car stops abruptly in front. Right. Does it recognize when an emergency vehicle is, in the, is, is, is coming in either direction? Not yet. It has, to be, it has to be trained a lot on that too as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it doesn't know how to pull over. It doesn't know how to pull, how to pull over as okay. yet, no. But what it does do uh, right now actually is, uh, and we had a, a number of examples there, fast moving cars in our lanes coming up approaching behind us mm. it will know to get to the right side get to the right side and um, have them overtake us because we're, we're going slower than they are going. it's kind of like a German standard right okay. like a, a now it's going a little fast right now approach so, yeah going a little fast also slow down here slow, now slow because down. it has the curve right so I'm kind of like okay <laughs> but it is slowing down look, look, look. Okay. okay but not naturally. It doesn't it like it, a human would have slowed down in advance. But it, it, it differs. Like some drivers would. Yeah, some drivers would just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Run, run it through that corner. Yeah. What about 
on the highway, you know, the law is that if there's a vehicle on the shoulder, you're supposed to go in the lane, one lane over. Does it do that? Uh, I haven't really tested that. Out. I haven't, I haven't had seen the that that often. To test it out. But I don't think it does, though. I think it would go wide. It will go well, wide uh, around. But stay in the same lane. It wouldn't. But kind of stay in the same lane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that for every car or just police? Um, I think it's if it's yeah. Well, I think it's police as well as for safety, just in case you know anything happens with a guy on the shoulder coming out or. Yeah. Opening a door, walking out of the car, you know, or stupid, you know, making something, making a silly mistake like that. Right. So and how it reacted here to this car that uh, just suddenly pulled. In exactly. Front. No indication at all. Yeah. She really kept her cool, to be honest. Yeah. And this is usually one we're coming up now to the final uh, now, set of lane then, changes. Yeah. <laughs> Having just come from the Caribbean. This is going to be a tough thing to get accustomed to in those roads. Well, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Because guys change without giving signals. The, the lanes are narrow. Um, and, um, yeah, and we have oh. somebody actually blocking us off now, which is really annoying. So now I have to press our brakes and then kind of like squeeze yeah. in. Start squeezing into the lane, start getting off to the, the getting to the far right. Okay, so she wants to make that lane change there. And it, yeah, okay. And that there was about what four or five lane changes. That's that's good. That's pretty good. She she handled that person much better than like some other times so. though, because that person was being it was really a little irritating. confusing because they didn't they you know they were accelerating at our speed. She was yeah. looking for a gap, a safe gap to go into, and then they were like, okay. And then they went off, and then we yeah, she went. She's through. driving better than some drivers. <laughs> Well, she, it's interesting because the person is kind of rushing us to yeah. the, to the the change, but then they're not really like passing us; they're just like staying in the way. But she realized quickly that like they're just being annoying, and then she just slowed down and was like, "Okay, just go ahead." Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's it. I mean, and it, did it change this turn on it its own again? Yeah. yeah. Everything oh, has right. been done by this by this so far. Okay. And that was, I mean, that was actually pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, to yeah, summarize it, everything. It, it looked natural. It looked, I mean, yeah. It felt, it felt decent. Yeah. Do you well, want to scare him with the, um, the regular roads? The regular? <laughs> <laughs> that's a tendency of, of doing, oh. of slowing down at intersections like here. So that's why, you know, hopefully wow. they ironed that out. It also just changed the lane in the intersection. Lanes close to intersection, which yeah, be that's doing. not, yeah, it's not a good thing. Um, but I'm hoping with the future updates, yeah. we, we get a more ironed out, um, operation hmm. but yeah on that note uh, any final thoughts <laughs> that um well like i say it's 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 really uh something you have to get used to and um and you know i'll certainly try it one day and um but you know, <laughs> i like I, li I like being in control you know and but it's, it's, it's good. I think it's a sign of what's going to come in the future. And, you know, hey, you got to move with the times. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks again, folks, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that notification bell if you like and enjoy these videos. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.